Hello, in this video we're going to do a mathematical proof. The question reads as follows, let a and b be non-zero integers. Prove that if a divides b and b divides a, then a is equal to b or a is equal to negative b. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this proof. So proof. So to prove something in mathematics of this form, we start by assuming everything after the word if. So this is an if then type statement. So if this is true, then we have to show that this is true. So we'll start by writing down our hypothesis that A divides B and B divides A. So suppose that A divides B and B divides A. And now we somehow have to show that a is equal to b or a is equal to negative b. So in order to get to this, which is what we're trying to do, we should use our hypothesis. So let's go ahead and write down what it means for a to divide b. So since a divides b, what does this mean? Well, this means that b is a multiple of a. So since a divides b, we have that b is a multiple of a. That means that b is equal to ca or some integer c. Some integer c. Just being really careful and just applying the definition. So a divides b means that b is a multiple of a. What does that mean? That means that b is equal to some integer times a. In this case, we called it c. Now let's use our other part of our hypothesis. It's that B divides A. So since B divides A, we have that A is a multiple of B. So A is equal to, let's say, K times B for some integer K. So for some integer K. A somewhat common mistake is people will try to use the same variable. You can't really specify C or K at this point. It's just some unknown integer C and some unknown integer K. So now we somehow have to use these equations to show that A is equal to B or A is equal to negative B. So I have an idea. So then let's think about what B is. B is equal to CA. So B equals CA. But we know something about A. A is equal to KB. So this is equal to C parentheses KB. Because A is equal to KB. But multiplication is associative, so we can write this as CK times B. And you can drop the parentheses because, again, the multiplication is associative, but I wanted to show every step. Now we can subtract CKB from both sides, hence we have that b minus, and I'm just going to go ahead and write ckb, is equal to 0. And we can factor out a b at this point. So we have that b parentheses 1 minus ck is equal to 0. And whenever we have a product of integers equal to 0, we can set each factor equal to 0. So this means that b is equal to 0, or 1 minus ck is equal to 0. But we know from the very beginning of the problem that b cannot be 0. It says let a and b be non-zero integers. So we can exclude this case and focus strictly on this one. So we have that ck is equal to 1. Now both c and k are integers. The only way two integers have a product equal to 1 is when they're both 1 or when they're both negative 1. So thus, c equals k equals 1, in which case, well, what happens there? We have that a is equal to kb, so that would mean that a is equal to 1 times b, which is equal to b. So if c equals k equals 1, we have a equals b, which was something that we were trying to prove, right? We were trying to prove that a equals b or a equals negative b. So again, if c equals k equals 1, we have that a equals b. 
or if c equals k equals negative 1, in which case, well, again, using that equation, a equals kb, k is negative 1, so in this case, we would get a equals negative 1 times b equals negative b. So a equals negative b. So just to recap this last step, we have c equals k equals 1, in which case a is equal to b, which is what we were trying to show, or c equals k equals negative 1, in which case a is equal to negative b, which is what we were trying to show. So that proves that a equals b or a equals negative b. Let's just reiterate that. So thus, a equals b or a equals negative b. And this completes the proof. I'm going to put a little box uh, with an x to it to indicate that our proof is complete. So hopefully, if you're watching this video, um, you've become a little bit better at proof writing. Let's just go over it from the beginning one more time, just to make sure you got it. The original question said, let a and b be non-zero integers. Prove that if a divides b and b divides a, then a is equal to b or a is equal to negative b. So this is an if-then type statement. Uh, we're trying to basically prove if a divides b and b divides a, then we have this conclusion here. So you assume what's here. So suppose a divides b and b divides a. And this is our hypothesis, and we're trying to show that a equals b or a equals negative b. So the natural thing to do now is to actually write down what our hypothesis means. Since a divides b, we have b equals ca. Since uh, b divides a, we have a equals kb, and then we proceed as follows. Hopefully, this has been helpful and you've learned some mathematics. Till next time, good luck.